Quiet winter night in the Washington suburbs. But quiet is one thing we won't have because Brad Doherty and the North Carolina Tar Heels come calling. The senior from Black Mountain, North Carolina, has emerged as an All-American candidate on the Tar Heels undefeated team that ranks first in the nation. And he's having a season any All-American would be proud of with more than 20 points and eight and a half rebounds a game. In his last three games, Doherty has averaged better than 30 points and dominated the middle by making three out of every four shots he's taken from the floor. The other All-American will wear a Maryland uniform. Glenn Bias comes in leading the ACC in scoring, and when he has the ball, opposing defenses are in trouble. In 11 of his last 14 games, Bias has scored more than 20 and had a brilliant game against Georgia Tech when he scored 22 in the second half alone to key a tremendous comeback that fell one point short of an upset. Lefty Drizel has guided his young club to a 10-4 record so far with a schedule that has put the Terps against six teams who have either been undefeated or suffered only a single loss. He is fourth among active coaches in career winning percentage, trailing only Jerry Tarkanian, Bob Knight, and Dean Smith. Lefty says this is Dean's best team ever, and at 16-0, there is little reason to question the opinion. In his career at Chapel Hill, Dean Smith sports 567 wins and only 165 losses. North Carolina against Maryland, coming up from Coalfield. Maryland fans to see the team they would most love to beat, the North Carolina Tar Heels. Everybody, Mike Patrick along with Billy Cunningham and it's great to have you with us for Atlantic Coast Conference basketball from Cole Fieldhouse tonight. Billy Lefty says this is the best team Dean Smith has ever had in North Carolina. Coaching psychology or is he right? Uh, that's coaching psychology Mike. It's too early in the year to make that type of decision. You have to wait till the season is over and too many things can happen from now till then. Number one, the Carolina team must improve by March. Number two, injuries. And they have been a factor for Carolina the last two years with Steve Hale going down last year and Kenny Smith the previous year. Even with the minor injuries that they have now, there's so much talent and depth, they're still beating people by 30 points a game. Well. They do have that great depth, but as long as they lose one player, they have the ability to compensate for that. But when they lose two players, then they're going to have to make some adjustments. Now, Maryland can't match up with North Carolina player for player and depth for depth, but is depth going to be a factor tonight? Lefty does not feel it is because he feels because we're on television tonight that he's going to get a television timeout at the 16-minute mark, 12, 8, and 4. So his players have to play in four-minute spurts. Maryland may not have the depth of North Carolina, but they have Lenny Bias. Lenny Bias, ACC Player of the Year last year, just a phenomenal talent. Every year he's been here at Maryland, he has improved all statistics. Should be a great game. Maryland and undefeated number one, North Carolina. We'll be back with more right after this one. The Carolina guard, the 6'3 junior, number 30, Kenny Smith. Maryland at guard, a 6'1 senior, number 12, Jeff Baxter. At center for the Tar Heels, a 6'11 senior, number 42, Brad Doherty. At center for Maryland, 6'8 junior, number 32, Terry Long. Forward for Carolina, 6'9", junior, number 35, Dave Thompson. At forward for Maryland, a 6'7", sophomore, number 33, Derek Lewis. At forward for North Carolina, 6'10", junior, number 24, Joe Wolf. And at forward for Maryland, a 6'8", senior, number 34, Carolina's head coach, Dean Smith. Maryland's head coach, Charles G. Lefty Grissel. Tonight, as he struggled a little bit early in the game against Georgia Tech, turned the ball over a little bit with the defensive pressure. Lefty felt tonight might be a good idea to bring him off the bench, have him a little bit more relaxed coming off the bench. What about some of these other matchups? What do you think is key in there? Well, the key matchup... You know, Wolf is going to have his hands full with Bias. Uh, Bias and Doherty are the two outstanding, talented players on either team. Uh, how, how are you going to adjust to them? I think that Carolina number one is going to play him straight up, Bias. I think that I know 
that Maryland is going to look to double team and rotate their people to not allow Carolina to hurt them in the ins on the inside. Bias against Doherty in the center circle, and it's controlled by North Carolina. Thompson gives it off to Kenny Smith, and Gatlin will take him. Two great point guards against each other. Terry Long is on Thompson. Smith trying to penetrate. Good defensive pressure by Maryland. Kenny Smith with his first jumper. Now, Kenny Smith has never had a big game against Maryland. He's always been in single-figure scoring and hasn't had that big a game in the assist department. You know, one problem you have playing against Carolina, you stop their initial play, but then they go to that passing game, and I think there's a tendency of players to feel that they accomplished something when they stop the initial player. Good pass to Baxter by Gatlin. Wide open, and he missed the shot. Long rebound to Bias for a 16 footer and then Bias has his first two. There will be more. Wolf quickly up court. Carolina has that secondary break that gives them buckets like that, boy. Uh, they allow, Maryland allows them to swing the ball back to the top. That's going to put such great pressure on the man playing Doherty inside. 4-2 North Carolina. One minute into the ball game. This is Jeff Baxter, the senior from D.C. To Gatlin, the junior point guard. Bias. And they're working that cross-court pass against the Carolina defense. And Gatlin trying to penetrate. Rebound goes to Wolf. This Carolina team is full of great passers. Just like that. Doherty missed the shot, however. Wouldn't go in for him, and Terry Long with the rebound. He should have gone up and jammed that one. Lewis low. Double teamed and missed. Hale quickly out to Smith. Maryland did it. Excuse me, Mike. Did a great job getting back defensively. Thompson with the jumper at the baseline. Rebound to Doherty. Doherty slapped that, and he, they call him for a travel. But I asked Dean that question, and he just loves coaching so much uh, that he has no intentions of quitting for quite a while. Good ball movement there by Maryland. Did not result in the shot, but Bias will take one. Won't go. And Carolina doing a nice job on the board. Hale from Smith. Lost it. Here comes Gatlin back for Maryland. It's a three on two. And then Gatlin had it knocked out of his hands. Last touch by Maryland. And now the uh, Lenny Wirtz looks for another official to help him on the call. And the ball was touched by Carolina. That's good officiating. Yeah, they have to work as a team. And the trail official was able to get a good angle on that play because Lenny Wirtz was just sprinting the court to get in position if there was action under the basket. Baxter. Gatlin, the Maryland guards, Carolina in a what appears to be a 2-3 zone right now. Look. He's got his hands full trying to keep Doherty off the offensive boards. Gatlin will take the two for one. Go big, followed by Derek Lewis. He's got his first two and we're tied at four. Kenny Smith. He picks up the first foul of the ball game on a reach. It's me ball game in the 60s because the two teams they've had a problem with are Jacksonville, which is in the 60s, and Las Vegas, Nevada. Ball tipped. Good hustle by Lewis. Knocks the ball out of bounds. Doherty helps him up. Something I think our fans should look for. Extended pinky fingers on both hands. Lob to Hale. Whistle. Foul away from the ball. No, nope. three second violation. Uh, Phil Cuthridge has been with Dean for, uh, he came, he's been there close to 20 years now. Carolina's had many, many. Wolf, that's number one on Joe Wolf. First team foul again. The line has got to be everybody's All-American one. Oh, he has him. Uh, he and I would have competed with uh, to see who would have had top honors in the ACC, and that is technical fouls. He had six <laughs> last year. <laughs> I won't even ask you. We'll get the ball back. Well, Popson was shooting the basketball before he had gained control of it. Hale putting a little pressure. Fourth North Carolina turnover in this ball game in the first three and a half minutes. Maryland doing a lot of screening away from the ball and trying to uh, toss it across. Baxter drives all the way under. This is his third straight start. Man's waited uh, a long time in his college career, really, to have a starting position on this team. Hits both free throws, and it's 8-4 Maryland, and here's some full court pressure. Hale gets it across to Doherty. Doherty trying to get Lewis away from the boards, and now they screen for him in the alley open. He scores. Well, right there, 
the man that should get the two points is Joe Wolf because he set, it, set an excellent back screen for Doherty to get that easy basket. Len Bias did not communicate with his teammate and let him know that back screen was there. Roll to the bucket. Baxter working against Smith. This is Bias being guarded by Joe Wolf. Long in the lane, blocked by Popson. And then Derek Lewis reaches in on Doherty and commits a foul. That will be number two on Derek Lewis in the first 4.48. We have Warren Martin in the lineup now. First shot, after two screws inserted in his ring finger, which was injured. Well, he looked pretty good on that shot. Bias with the drive, it won't go. Rebound to Carolina. Boy, Brad Doherty is a huge young man. When Warren Martin comes in here, looks like a little guy. Great steal Put by it. Gatlin. To Bias. just great control catching the ball reading the defense and making that quick move and going to the reserve first side of the basket there's a foul against Maryland inside and I believe it's going to be on Len Bias his first and we have over 14 minutes to play watch this move taking the ball to the weak side using the basket to shield off the two Carolina defenders Joe Wolf comes out of the ball game and Curtis Hunter number 43 in for the first time Hunter finally healthy, really, for the first time in his career. Hale trying to penetrate the zone. Has it stopped? Just 32nd of this year, and Maryland playing some, some tenacious defense. Hale answers from outside, 10-8. Steve Hale has had some excellent basketball games in this building, and, and players are very superstitious. You know, they just feel a little more comfortable maybe in a building. Lewis, under pressure from behind, buries the jump shot. And it's 12-8. Last year, Hale pulled down 12 defense, 12 rebounds against this Maryland team. You know, we mentioned how Carolina has beaten this team pretty consistently over the years. But the last year, here comes a trap. Smith trying to back out of it and gets it to Martin. Couldn't get it. Hunter trying to penetrate. What they've done is they've taken Carolina out of their offense. Lewis knocks it out of the hands. Of They're showing them a few different looks. I was surprised to see them come out and play straight man to man to start this ball game. Well, Lefty tried a uh, gimmick zone as the pass goes into Martin. Just leans into a layup. Tried one of those gimmick defenses that sometimes works against Mark Price in Georgia Tech. It didn't on Saturday, and he really didn't like that kind of stuff. Well, he worked today on one little bit of a gimmick. He worked on a, a, a triangle in two, where two men play straight man to man, and the other three play his own. Bias with that turnaround jump shot. He loves the baseline. It's 14 to 10. Lenny Bias has eight points. He's hit three out of five from the floor. Loose ball picked up by Darden. Kenny Smith, baseline jumper, Bias with a rebound. Nobody to get it out to, and Gatlin will bring it across. Lewis. And we've got a foul, I believe, on Terry Long in the lane before the shot. That he had a guard on him, and at that time it was Steve Hale who went inside and got the basketball. 12 minutes, 29 seconds to go, first half. Maryland by four over the nation's number one team. Jeff Lebo into the ballgame for the first time. What a terrific freshman this young man is. As a point guard and a shooter, Curtis Hunter got away, got it to Hale for the wide open jump shot, and it's 14 to 12. That's an, example, that's an example, Mike, of that extra pass because Hunter had the good shot, but that defensive man came running at him and gave Steve Hale that open jump shot. Here's the trap, nicely avoided by Gatlin, gets it to Baxter. Baxter being guarded by Hunter, a man with a uh, three or four inch height advantage. He goes right after him. What a move by the senior from Washington, D.C. Baxter scores. Maryland back up by four. Going to have to do one of two things against that. Either stop the penetration, give them a little bit more room, room outside, or have someone in there that's going to be blocking those shots. Hale guarded by Baxter goes inside the wolf. Lebo working on Gatlin, and what a block by Lewis! And Baxter will have the snooper! What a block! Derek Lewis on the other end to set up the jam. And he kept it in play, and they were able to convert that. And the crowd, predominantly Maryland fans, just love it. Wolf, fall away jumper, won't go. Tip follow, won't go. Here comes Baxter. It's a one on two, and he does the smart thing. He brings it back out. Gatlin 
just roll it off the front of the rim and Doherty with the rebound. If he made that basket, Dean Smith would have had to think about it and climb out. Carolina throws it away. Boy, you're right about that. The crowd with the emotion building. Carolina's turned the ball over five times. They've had three shots blocked in the first nine minutes and ten seconds. Four shot by Lebo. There's, there's Lewis coming over, giving the great defensive help, and Baxter with the easy two points at the other end of the court. And that makes it 18 to 12. The margin is six. That's Maryland's biggest lead of the ballgame. Lewis has such great timing on those, Billy. Yeah, one thing I'd like to mention here. You, you know, we, we see where Carolina has 6'10", 6'8", etc. And we have a Maryland team, which is 6'8", 6'7", in that category. The true way you measure a basketball player is with his arm extended. And players like uh, Lewis and Byers have extremely long arms, so they play a couple inches bigger than it appears. Here's a turnover on the press, and Lebo buries the jump shot to make it 18-14. Lewis did not get a good pass in bounds. Gatlin to Bias, they handled it well that time. Maryland has not been bothered by the press a lot. Nice pass to Long, and he fouled, and he made the bucket. He is fouled by Madden, who came into the ballgame. Wide open. Terry Long played brilliantly in the second half against Georgia Tech. And that's why he's starting tonight. Uh -huh. Lefty said he earned it. Three-point play, and it's Maryland's biggest lead at 21 to 14. And here's pressure again by the Turks. Madden, another freshman for Dean Smith, gets it to Lebo. What a recruiting class Dean Smith had, and the cupboard was hardly bare when he got these freshmen in. And Madden's been improving on a daily basis, especially at the defensive end of the court. Lebo off a nice screen, has a jumper and scores. John Johnson, number 21, is in for Maryland, a freshman guard, player, a state player of the year out of Tennessee a year ago. We're at the 10-minute mark, and it's 21-16. Baxter to Bias, or Johnson to Bias, rather. Tipped, nice defense in there by Wolf, and Doherty gets the steal. A little nonchalant oh. pass by Bias that you got. Down low to Madden, double clutch and got it. And so the screens are working very well in the basement. They're moving the basketball. Both teams are playing very well right now. Uh, the thing about Madden, uh, in the Wake Forest game, Wolf was only able to play seven minutes with his with the finger he hurt, and Madden got a lot of playing time in that ball game, and that might be a big plus for Carolina because if there's one weakness they have is a ball club. They don't have that small forward, and a player like Madden, if he can mature and come along for them, that's just going to add another dimension to this ball club. That's Tom Jones, number 41, checks in for Maryland for Lewis, who made a good play to get rid of the ball after he was trapped. Another good pass by Gatlin, and a great pass by Long, and the layup to Speedy Jones. No, it was nice. That ball didn't touch the floor. Madden gets it out to Wolf. Excellent perimeter shooter, and he buries a 23-20. What a great first half of just sheer athletic ability we've been able to see. Gatlin working one-on-one -on -one with Smith. Takes him to the baseline, is cut off. Tried to pass it underneath to Johnson, but intercepted by Carolina. That's not what Maryland wants. The last two times down the court, they weren't able to make a pass. They've turned the ball over. Darby from outside. Bias slaps it for rebound and brings it down. Looks like his shooting percentage might drop under 70%. <laughs> Isn't that incredible what he's been able to do? Yeah, he's going to go by Bobby Jones with the highest field goal percentage ever at Carolina. Good pass inside. The bias had the man on the back. Jumper in the lane. When he gets it in there, you can chalk it up. Well, Joe Wolf needs help in that situation. When the man takes the ball with that hard dribble there, the guards and everyone was standing and watching instead of coming back and giving some help. That's 10 for Len Bias, who leads the ACC with 22.7 points a game. The steal by Speedy Jones. Maryland has played some exceptional defense, and here's the foul on Kenny Smith, reaching in on Keith Gatlin. Turnover so far. Unusual to see Carolina with more turnovers than the opponent. But they have it tonight, and it's a result of Maryland's defense. Uh, I've watched Carolina play a few games this year, and that's something that has become a tendency for them early in ball games, committing those turnovers. Johnson to Baxter. Into the lane to Jones. All the way jumper won't go. Pops him with a rebound. Jones, a very solid player, transferred from Allegheny Community College a year ago. Madden, a 
deep out of the corner. Tough shot for the freshman. Uh, he had a lot of confidence on that shot. He has four, and the lead is a three again, 25-22. Maryland's got to slow it down a little bit, get into their offense, make a pass or two. Baxter cut off outside the law. Bias working on Martin. And we've got an offensive foul called against Johnson. You know, we, we expect that the Maryland team is not going to go any deeper than eight players unless they get in serious foul trouble. Thompson, Lebo, Darty, Hunter, and Hale, the Carolina offense. Now they got to worry about the 10-second count a little bit, and Hale will beat it. Hale got by Baxter to the baseline, and Baxter committed one of those personal fouls. You reach around behind somebody. Kenny Smith into Darty with six minutes and 49 seconds to go. Thompson jump hook. Loose ball pulled down by Baxter. Real strong on that shot. Lenny Bias, who has 10 points already. His pass hit the back of the rim. Now it's tipped out of bounds and out to North Carolina. A lot of help, and it left his man open. In that case, it was Jones. If he was able to get in the pass, it was going to be a two-point play. Brad Doherty with the ball down low. Turnaround jump shot. That's six points for Doherty. Last three games, he's been averaging better than 30 points a game. They've held him in check pretty well in the first half. Well, if anybody lets him get the ball in that deep, uh, he's just going to hit that uh, nine out of ten times. Johnson working on Lebo. Goes to the baseline. Lost the ball. They're going to get a foul out of Seven the Seven ball games did not start tonight, but is in there now. Has been averaging 7.4 points a game. and been a pretty good free throw shooter. He got the bounce on that one on more than 70% for the year. Maryland's lead is back at 2 at 26-24. Uh, Lefty doesn't get many players from Tennessee, does he, Mike? Uh, you know, no, Johnson, not that I can yeah. remember. Uh, Maryland has hit 7 out of 7 from the free throw line. North Carolina has not shot a free throw tonight. Gatlin will come back in the ballgame, and Johnson gets a nice hand as he goes out. Well, here comes Maryland looking to trap. Madden, who is back in, gets it to Kenny Smith. Carolina is so good at hitting the open man. There's no in the face. Of the oh, oh, Madden, what a ball. Oh. In the face of Len Bias with the jam. Madden at 6-5 really skied for that. It appears he wants to get a little bit more playing time, would you think? Well, he'll get it, won't he? Gatlin guarded by Hale to Bias. There's that double team trap and bounced off the foot of Hale. Good smart play. Now, what happened there, Bias did not have an, any up option but to do that because he did not have a teammate come to make himself available. Bounce to Bias. Wants to go down the lane. Len Bias against everybody, and he missed that one. And Bias went down hard. He's holding his left shin. It looked like the ankle. That's all lefty needs. Madden misses the shot rebound to Lewis. Bias limping a little bit, but uh, I think he's all right. He was hurt against Georgia Tech. He went down and they uh, uh, folded up against Georgia Tech, and Lefty wouldn't let the trainer come on the bench uh, out on the floor because if he did, he'd have to take him out of the ball. Game. Uh, Len Bias is all right. Missed that shot. Lewis rebound. And one. Oh! Basket's good, and we've got a foul. And Darty and Bias exchanged little slaps in there that time. Foul was on Darty. Bias moved to the basket. Look at the defense, the position inside. Lewis is able to just go up. Uh, touch foul there. Lewis converted. Battle him. And here comes the shot is a little off to the right. And Lewis is able to pick it up and get a three-point play. Maryland leading at 30 to 26 with 4.54 to go first half. Darty low against Long. Turn around, jump and Long. Oh, Terry Long's done a great defensive job on it. No whistle. They get the ball low to Lewis. Jump hook wouldn't go. Wolf with the rebound to Kenny Smith. Carolina will push it up court. They've got a four on three advantage right now. And Lebo wide open. Can he shoot or what? That's three in a row for the perimeter for Jeff. Six points for Lebo, and it's 30 to 28. Maryland by two. Long wants to set a pick, and boy, can he set it. Baxter wide open. Got it. Those are the shots you've got to hit, and Baxter has eight points. Kenny Smith, the pull-up jumper won't go. Rebound of Bias. 
And the crowd once again comes to its feet here at Cole Fieldhouse. They've seen a great first-half performance by their ball club. Bias wants the ball low. They can't get it to him. He's struggling through the lane. Guy comes out to the top of the circle to get it. Maryland will reset its offense. Good pass to Bias. Shot wouldn't go, however. Tipped out of bounds by Hale, I believe, and out to the top of North Carolina, 32 to 28. And the Terps have done the job here in the first half against the nation's number one team, Bill. Well, my, there's two things that stand out right now. Number one, the confidence that this Maryland team is playing at. And the, number, the next thing is that they've done such a good job getting back defensively as a team and not allowing Carolina to get any transition baskets. Now, Mike, you've seen this team play well, just about all their games this year. Have you seen them play a, a half up to this point as they have? They played exceptionally well, Billy, against Georgia Tech in the second half Saturday. But over the years, I don't think I've seen as many good teams as Lefty Grizzell has had. I don't think I've seen a team play with this much confidence and do all the right things that they have done. They have been virtually error-free in this first half. And I guess you have to be to be leading the nation's number one team. Good pass by Gatlin to get it into Baxter. Three and a half minutes to go. Maryland actually looks like uh, they would be number one. Bias to the baseline against the double team. Rebound to Lewis. Good follow by Derek Lewis. He's got nine points in the first half. Darting with Bias on him this time and scores over. Uh, thing about Derek Lewis, he's such a quick jumper. And he was up there before any of the Carolina players had left their feet. Gatlin, nice move on Smith. Shot wouldn't go. by him for the rebound. He's fouled. The shot did not fall for him. But they got the foul on Wolf. That'll be the two points. The last play, uh, Gatlin just took a quick shot. And I think Maryland was fortunate to get that offensive rebound. They do not want to play that style of basketball. They like to use a little bit of the time. Look to isolate at times. Uh, Len Bias after they make a few passes or look to go inside or have their guards look to penetrate. Bias four out of four, 12 points in the first half. The ACC's leading scorer is leading everybody on the court right now. And Maryland leads by defensive pressure against Carolina. Darty running the baseline, trying to get it in. Tom Jones with a steal, but he tossed it back in and it hit the baseline. Good hustle by Jones. Maryland press. Their intensity is just outstanding up to this point. Warren Martin gets it to Hale. Hale ahead to Kenny Smith. A two-on-one break in effect. Lebo with a layup. That was some basket that Lebo made. It appeared that he was looking to draw the foul, but it wasn't any contact that was able to convert that basket. Lebo has eight points. It's 36-32. Gatlin and Baxter have passed the ball exceptionally well for Maryland. Carolina now has put Martin out there on bias. Here's the double team. Baxter trapped. Tries to bounce it off a player's foot. It eventually hits his and goes out of bounds to sink. Maryland players have to be aware of is anytime you take the ball down the sideline or make a pass to someone on the sideline, you have to be ready for Carolina to go to their trapping defense. 36-32. Darty gives it to Lebo. Guarded closely by Baxter. We're under two minutes in the first half. Hale. Good return pass to Lebo. And uses the basket as a shield and lays it in. Carolina back within two. The Carolina's two freshmen are playing a great game. Here's the double team. Lewis gets it to Gatlin. Gatlin, 17. Footer buried it. 38-34. Maryland by four. The first two points for Keith Gatlin tonight. Smith low for Doherty. And Doherty with the advantage. And Tom Jones comes over and commits a foul he'd love to have back. Earlier in this game, we saw Doherty miss a layup. That's the way he has to attack the basket when you're in that close. And you know what happens? The big people just leave you alone. They don't want any part of that. Doherty, who is the most valuable player on this team and a vote by his teammates, has 10 points, and this is his first free throw of the night. Carolina's first as a team. And he got it. 38-37, Carolina within one with 125 to go. First half of play from College Park, Maryland, along with another brutal pick in the backcourt. Sets those thundering screens. Here's Gatlin, fouled by Kenny Smith. Smith does not like the call. That will be his 
Yeah. Your ears are ringing. But you might miss him in a fast breaking situation <laughs> <laughs> and find somebody else. Gatlin's free throw. Will they get the roll? No, he won't. 38 37 Carolina with a chance to regain the lead. Lebo all the way. And oh, what a play by Lebo. I kept waiting here for him to pull the ball up or dish it off to somebody. I think that's the way the Maryland team felt. Carolina leads for the first time since 4 to 2, but the answer comes back with Speedy Jones on the pass from Gatlin, and Maryland regains the lead. What a first half. Well, well Gatlin has an advantage with the guards of Carolina double team. He's a lot bigger than they are. penetration to the basket. Terry Long with three points in this ball game. It's the free throw. Comes in as a 55.6% free throw shooter. Right now has Maryland up by two. He has been a factor especially on defense. Be interesting to see if Maryland goes to a trap right now because with 33 seconds to go, Carolina will probably wait for the last shot. Jeff Lebo, who is operating at point guard, will call the play. They'll spread it out, and they will wait for the last. Well, and what's happening right now is we're seeing Maryland going into a 2-3 zone, saying, OK, you can hold the ball for a while. But the good thing here is that Bias might not pick up a foul, and we're going to force him to shoot right. from the perimeter. Lebo may take the shot. He has hit six in a row. Five seconds to go. Instead, Hale will take the jumper, and it's short. squared off. Something of a mismatch, and Warren Martin uh, pulled a hand back, and I think Jeff Baxter is very glad that he did. That's the end of the first half. The score, the Maryland Terrapins, 42. The North Carolina Tar Heels clubs played very well, even though both teams have played pretty good defense against each other. They do. There's a couple of statistics that stand out. You look at Carolina, they're one for one from the foul line, and Maryland has been to the charity line 13 times and been able to convert 12 of them. Uh, the other thing that we mentioned at the top was that Maryland is an excellent ball club, and they had a 13-1 record last year when they out-rebounded their opponents, and we've seen there they're out rebounded the Carolina team to this point 17-14 uh, uh, there's a couple things I think that have to happen uh, number one uh, for, if you're in Carolina they have to do something about the pressure defense uh, that it's being applied by Maryland they have to look for some back doors some lobs some penetration by the guards to break that down and to force Maryland to start thinking about the overplaying now they also Carolina has to stop the penetration uh, of the Maryland team because they've been able to either get the fouls, get the offensive rebound, and that's where you get your offensive rebounds because of the uh, penetration, and they've just allowed that too easily. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Dean Smith spoke about that, but the Maryland team, they have to pick up where they left off with the same type of intensity, looking to show a few different things, attack the trap well as they did in the first half. And we should be in, have a great second half. I'm sorry you're going to have to announce the game, though, Mike. You can't sit and get I a box can't sit up here and watch. No. I'm sorry. You saw the leading scores. Lebo had 12 for uh, North Carolina. That is his career high. Bias for tw with 12 for Carolina. Bias starts the second half, missing a jumper. Darty with a rebound for Carolina. This is the third time this year that the Tar Heels have trailed at the half. Those were the two toughest games they've had. Jacksonville and Las Vegas. And missed by Darty and Bias with a rebound. I'll be interested to see if Carolina looks to go to their trap as much as they did in the first half. Oh. Bias, what a move. Gets into the lane, double teamed, and they're going to get hailed for a foul. Didn't look for that penetration. Is anybody his size that quick? Uh, and we've got a backcourt violation on Maryland. When players come into the NBA and are drafted, you know, you just wonder, is a player an impact player? I think Lynn Bias is going to have an impact on whatever franchise he goes to. Thompson goes to Hale. A lot of scouts here tonight. We saw Jerry West earlier. The Chicago Bulls are here. There's just a lot of guys to look at on the floor tonight. Pass underneath will go out of bounds. It's out to Merrill Perimeter. Hale challenges Gatlin. Lewis is going to set a screen for him and bangs Hale into it. 
cross court to Baxter. Baxter trying to penetrate, double team, loses the ball, and it'll be out to North Carolina. Wanted a foul, but didn't get it. Well, there was a lot of contact there as he was going to the basket, but the official felt it was incidental. Kenny Smith trying to push it up court a little bit. Nobody open underneath, so he couldn't toss it in there. Thompson, Pius went for the steal and didn't get it. Thompson leans into a jumper, cuts the lead to one, 42-41. First two points of the game for David Thompson. Here's the trap by Carolina. Baxter, 20-footer. And North Carolina will have a chance to take the lead. Smith. And they've got it, 43-42. I would expect him to look to trap right again or put some good defensive pressure on this team because they're starting to get some momentum. Last two times down court, Len Bias has not touched the ball. And that's the man, obviously, Maryland wants to get it to. Baxter has tried to take two shots. There's Bias. Got Doherty in the air. Missed the shot. Thompson with a rebound to Smith. You know he'd love to have that one back. Picked up by Baxter. Picks it back out to Hale. Into Doherty. Good pass. Jump. And Carolina is up by three, 45-42, 13 for Doherty. And Lefty Drizel wants a timeout. He says he has seen enough of this run. 17-33 to go in the ballgame. North Carolina has jumped on top of Maryland, 45-42. And we'll be back. Coming back. So it'll be interesting. But, but when they're ahead, they're almost unbeatable. Over the last five years, they've won 93% of their games. They've only been behind twice this year. This game makes the third time, and they are undefeated, 16-0. Here's the trap. Gatlin, nice job of saving it. Looking inside. Instead goes to Baxter. He wants to reset it. Good patience. We still have almost 20 seconds left on the clock. alley -oop to Bias, and there was contact underneath. The foul is going to be on Warren Martin. Minimum of five passes <laughs> this time with the basketball. Gatlin inbounds to Baxter. 17-02. Left to play from Cole Fieldhouse. Gatlin dribbles out of trouble. Former North Carolina Player of the Year from Grimesland, North Carolina. Good patience. Excellent ball movement. Shot won't go. Long tried to keep it alive, but Martin comes out with it. There's the steal by Lewis, and he's fouled by Hale. Good. 15 seconds, and they need a bucket. You can't take too many droughts against this club. Gatlin recognizing defenses very, very well. Great pass to Long. Got Doherty in the air. Got the bucket and the foul. What a play by Terry Long, and Gatlin hit him with a bullet. That's the key. Gatlin heard him in the first half, able to see over the double teams. We'll, we'll see the pressure. Look at him throwing it over the top. Great pass. Great basketball pass. Brad Doherty coming over to try and block the shot, but a fine offensive move by Long to get have a chance for this three-point play. That's six assists for Gatlin. He averages 5.6. That's sixth in the conference. You know, since this timeout, Maryland is fourth Carolina to commit three fouls. Now they have another possession of the basketball. They kept the miss alive, and Bias hits the jumper, and Maryland goes on top again, 46-45. Billy, that's a great point following those timeouts. This is Wolf. Boy, the crowd has been in this ball game from the start. Look at this pressure. Five seconds. It will be North Carolina's ball, however. the direction the possession arrow was going. Maryland gets it. Maybe I looked after they had already changed it. Boy, Lynn Bias wants this basketball. Maryland by one. They have scored four straight after Carolina ripped off six straight. Now they got it cleared out on the left side for Baxman. Let's see if Maryland's able to keep that patience at the offensive end of the court. Use a little clock and then do something with it. They are passing the ball exceptionally well. Baxter against Lebo. What a shot! That was a tough shot. That's ten for Baxter. And Carolina down by three again. Kenny Smith misses the long jumper. Bias for the rebound. Loose ball goes to Derek Lewis. starting to taste this one with 15 25 to go that's a long time gatlin short gatlin will get the long rebound they've been able to get those offensive rebounds 
Maryland has scored six straight. Gatlin has it knocked out of his hands. And I try to watch the players closely to see if fatigue is a factor. And I don't see any indication. There's no indication that there is. Baxter again against Lebo takes him right to the baseline, and Baxter has a dozen. Well, that is a set play, Billy. He just isolates on Lebo and tries to take advantage of it. Well, they do that with, with both players, with uh, Bias and with Baxter. 50 to 45, Maryland by five, and the Terps are on fire. Doherty in the lane, jump hook, got it. That quiets the fans a little. 50 to 47, Doherty with 15. Maryland did a pretty good defensive job on him in the first half. Baxter wide open, tough shot to hit, and he doesn't. <laughs> it's the first one he was open. It's such That's a right. tough shot. Kenny Smith, good pass of the layup to Wolf. Kenny to 49. Kenny Smith has nine assists up to this point of the game. He's just a great point guard. This league is loaded with him. Somebody's got to come up and give him some help on those pick and rolls if they want him to fit, put some defensive pressure in the backcourt. Ball was tipped by Carolina, still Maryland's ball. The shot clock does not recycle though. It's down to 25 seconds. The shot clock has not been a factor. Here's the game. isolation. And they want bias on Martin. Kick it back out. Shot clock at 13. Now bias working on what a move to get the lane. And stay with him. I think Baxter will win. Down, not far enough to give that help to Warren Martin. Bias so far, 16 points, 6 rebounds. My question for you, Billy, why is Warren Martin guarding Bias? Well, I'm sure Dean Smith feels that Wolf needs a blow or that he needs a new face on him at the defensive end of the court. Warren Martin, turnaround jump, uncontested. Bias with a rebound. He's clobbered underneath, and I think it's going to be Warren Martin again with a foul. Smith feels that if Madden has come far enough defensively as a ball player to come in here and give him the challenge of trying to compete against Bias. Here's the isolation. Lebo isolated with Baxter. Didn't Baxter like has uh, has beaten him badly twice, and here is Keith Gatlin. Gatlin can score. He just doesn't shoot that often, but when he wants to, he can put it in. Four for Gatlin, 54-49. Maryland leads by five again. Long trying to draw a foul from Doherty. No call. No sense getting Q here, is there? No, not at all. And Lebo will be fouled by Baxter again. And Baxter jumps right and Lenny works his face. That's his. You don't see any, any panic in the uh, faces of these North Carolina players. They're too smart and too well schooled for that. away by Lewis. Great job by Lewis and he bats it up. Hale out of bounds. Oh, and it goes to Carolina. You're right. Lewis did a great job. They will see it here where Lewis, great job, hustle, but the ball bounces. The ball hit him. Right. And they recycle the shot clock to 45 with 12.03 to go. A lot of pushing and shoving in there now. The screen's getting a little tougher. Baxter doing a great job switching men, getting around the screen. Short on the jumper. Gatlin keeps it alive. Two on one, Gatlin and Baxter. And Gatlin got great pace. Baxter with a layup. Uh, that was just an outstanding play by Keith Gatlin, waiting to the last second to make that entry pass. again with Gatlin. Got Wolf on him this time with Bias. Wants the ball back over Wolf. Got it! Holy cow, it's 58-49. 18 for Bias. And Dean Smith says, I've got to call a halt to this. And uses a timeout with 11-14 to go. Maryland with its biggest lead. 
It's 58-49 with timeout. Position. Carolina got off to a big start here in the second half. They scored six straight points, but Maryland has come back to outshoot them. And now they lead 58-49, 11.08 to go. Wolf being guarded closely by Bias. Well, Carolina's gone with the quicker lineup. This might mean that Steve Hale have to match up against Bias. Hale hits the jumper as uh, Terry Long went for the steal and didn't get it. No, it's got Lebo is playing long, so it'll be interesting to see if Maryland tries to take advantage of that mismatch down low. Baxter and Gatlin, the Maryland backcourt guarded by Hale and Smith. Baxter isolated, now they go to Bias, he's guarded by Wolf. Baseline, Wolf may have gotten a piece of that one, and Kenny Smith comes out with it. Baxter is back. Lebo, what a deadly shooter he is. His dad, his dad, Dave, David uh, Lebo, is the coach up at Carlisle, PA, and he's been brought up with the basketball, I'm sure, in his crib. 14 points for Lebo, his career high. Yeah. And here is the foul on Wolf as he are. You need him. Where do you draw the line? And that's so delicate from a coaching standpoint. Gatlin working on Hale. And the Maryland guards apparently have the feeling that they can just take the Carolina players right uh, to the bucket. Yeah, but though, Mike, now what are they doing? They're coming down to quick shots, quick moves, instead of moving the basketball a few times. That's where they hurt Carolina. Lebo, nice fake to get rid of Baxter, and he hits the jumper, 58-55. No quitting these guys. Carolina well, back within three. Jeff Lebo's keeping them in this basketball game. Gatlin isolated on Hale. Lebo missed his first shot. He's made the last eight. It, it, I love watching the coaching part. You notice Steve Smith pulls the timeout. What happened when Carolina comes back into the, on the court? That's right. Gatlin hits the jumper, and it's gone that way. Either coach that has called a timeout, that what they have told their team in that timeout has helped the team get back in there. Here is a foul. It looks like it's on Lewis, and that will be number three on Smith. Has so many guys up front that he can give just all the fouls in the world if he needs to. Kenny Smith looks inside. Warren Martin back to Kenny Smith. Has to drop it off and throw it away. Not a good play that time by the point guard. No, that was the defense that really forced that. Just great help, and he knew if he took that shot, it was going to get blocked, and he just was a little awry with that pass. Eight minutes, 53 seconds, and counting. Maryland on top of undefeated and top-ranked North Carolina by five. Lewis is being guarded by Doherty. Bias is being guarded by Martin, and Bias has the big quickness advantage. Now Baxter is working man-to-man -man against Kenny Smith as he had uh, beaten Lebo badly a couple of times. And they've got Lebo in there guarding Terry Long. Bias had that shot partially blocked. Long with a follow, and Lebo fouled him. Lebo just came in under him. My personal opinion, it's probably their most effective lineup. Uh, offensively and defensively. It allows them to be aggressive, look to go to their traps. Uh, Long missed the free throw, but it was kept alive by Derek Lewis. Great job by Lewis. That puts coaches in the home. Gatlin back out to Baxter. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left. Maryland by six. Baxter trying to work on Kenny Smith. Not had as much success with Smith as he did with Lebo. He just took him down there. Here's Bias working against a double now triple team. The long threw it away. Hale with the ball out to Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith to Warren Martin, and Martin gets the bucket. 60 57. Uh, I don't know how he was able to see Warren Martin coming down the right hand side. And they just, just Warren Martin must have yelled or did something to draw his attention because that was just a great pass by Kenny Smith. A strange thing. Warren Martin is doing an excellent job right now uh, when he's been having to be matched up against Bias. But right now, Carolina is sagging a little bit, playing a little bit of his own, trying to force the perimeter shot. Shot clock is down to 16 seconds to see what Maryland does against the zone. They get it to Lewis. 15. Big shot, Derek Lewis. And he had a hand in his face. He has a land. It was a big hand. 11 points for Lewis. 62-57, Maryland again by five. way outside with Law. An intense job of defense by Maryland tonight. Lebo, who has been hot as a pistol from the floor, continues that one. Lebo, 18 points. He's hit nine straight shots. Can't do any better. No. 
but you notice the difference with this lineup in Carolina is not as effective with the defensive pressure by Maryland because they have those three guards in there. Baxter, great job, goes to the bucket oh. and a blocking foul is called on Lebo as he got there a little late and Baxter flattened him. I'd like to see that play again. Okay, Kenny Smith forcing to the baseline, and we'll see if Jeff Levo gets there in time and establishes position. No, sir. He was moving. Yep. Good call by the fish. Boy, it sure was. Well, I have to and they got to call it that way. If, if that player's going up in the air, you can't jump into it like that. And that's three on Levo. By the way, Excuse me, the official, Mr. Nichols here, uh, his daughter goes to school with my daughter in Is Philadelphia. Right? So I have to be pretty You nice have to, to be him. good, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. Create a little uh, trouble in the hall. Oh. Free throw by Baxter is good. He's three for three from the line and 15 points for the senior from Washington, D.C. He's also a professor at Villanova University. Free throw doesn't go this time. 63-59, the margin is four. Here's Wolf left all alone. Now Kenny Smith is the wide open player. You can't leave him alone. Joe Wolf's fingers have to be bothering him. He had an opportunity either to take it to the basket or to shoot that open jump shot and passed it up. He has hyper-extended fingers on both hands in case you missed that. The margin now only two. 6.15 left to go in the ballgame. Maryland up 63-61. Carolina in that zone. Calling uh, plays. Maryland very, very calm. Baxter, this is long. Shot clock down to 17. Dean Smith had to change his uh, defense. Maryland was killing him. Couple reasons. Number one, he's got a big lineup in there. Number two, from here on in, Maryland shooting the penalty shot. Long Big jumper move. by Gatlin. He just beat the shot clock by four seconds. Gatlin has eight on some big shots, and it's 65-61. He also has 10, count them, 10 assists. Always seems to play well against Carolina. Now it'll be interesting to see if that pressure bothers Carolina again. Pass tipped and out of bounds. It'll be out to Maryland. With 5, 26 to go. The, turf. the height is not necessarily the point. It's how long the arms are and how good a jumper you are. Maryland beats the pressure very well as they have the entire ball game. Baxter and Gatlin have gone almost all the way at guard. Carolina going with their man to man defense. Baxter, man to man against Hale. They get it to Bias. He's guarded by Wolf. Here's that double team. And a bad pass. And Kenny Smith comes down on a break for Carolina. And Smith will take it inside. The shot Martin the rebound he missed and Derek Lewis came over the back to foul him that is number four on Derek Lewis we felt sorry for Keith Gatlin in there he was sandwiched between Darty and Warren Martin and now, as you see that's four on Lewis how aggressive is he as a, as a player from this point on because we know he's an excellent shot blocker and he's so important to this team not only offensively but on the defensive boards Lefty making no move to take him out. He wants him in there. Four fouls or not. The lead is cut to two. Six points for Warren Martin. Four minutes, 53 seconds to go in the game. It has been a brilliantly played game by both ball clubs. Yeah, it's one of those games you hate to see anyone lose. I'd like to see it go triple overtime. I don't know if I can stand it, but uh, as long as I can get a box of popcorn and okay. go sit in the stands. All right. Gatlin looking inside. Good pass to Baxter. And now they'll bring it back outside. Shot clock, 17 seconds. Lewis got Doherty in the air, missed the jump shot, got his own rebound. Follow won't go. This is bias. Oh, that ball was tipped while it was in the air. I thought that was going to be a goaltending. Tipped outside. Here comes Smith and Hale on the break. Hale goes all the way in, and it's tied at 65. Maryland missed three big chances to score down there. I hope we have a replay at some point where we can see those those big kids going after the basketball on the fours because that was tenacious. Four minutes and counting. Baxter looking inside, calls the play. Carolina's had some trouble with his zone, Billy. Yeah, Carolina's back in that zone. It'll force Maryland to use a little bit of time, get the good shot. I would expect they'd like to get the ball at some point to, to bias to shoot the jump shot because he's an outstanding perimeter shot. Shoot, excuse me. Bias wants the ball. Shot clock is at eight seconds. Baxter has got to get rid of it. Somebody does. Tough shot. Won't go. Loose ball. Doherty with a rebound. Doherty gives it to Warren Martin. Ahead to Hale. Look 
Joe, Joe, Joe Wolf cannot shoot the ball. He's got to be hurting. Guardy to Martin, and he is clobbered by Terry Long. Boy, Long really nailed it. He was almost an 82% shooter. I have been impressed by the way Martin has been able to play being away from basketball for two weeks. His timing has been excellent. He's been given the responsibility at times to go out and guard bias on the court. He did an excellent job the last couple of times he played against him. North Carolina has regained the lead at 67 to 65. Three minutes and 16 seconds to go in this game. Not unusual. Maryland has only played two substitutes, and they have only played a couple of minutes between them. In the second half, they've played five players. The Iron you know, Five. Yeah, out there. Iron Five. You think the Maryland players are thinking a little bit about last year when they were beating Carolina at Carolina in the last 36 seconds and ended up losing that ball game right now? I don't know. I haven't seen a sign of nerves from anybody on the court yet. No. Who do you get the ball to right now? Number 34, Mr. Bias. And Carolina's not going to let him beat them. Gatlin is wide open. Spun out on him. Tough shot. Well, you can see the philosophy of Carolina. They're going to double Bias anytime he touches that ball out on the perimeter and not allow him to be the one to beat them. Hail to Warren Martin. The lead is two points. It belongs to North Carolina. Uh, right now, that pressure defensively is not the same for Maryland what we have seen the first 30-some-odd minutes of the game. Hale's jump shot is good. The lead is four for North Carolina. Because this is the group when Carolina had the big lineup in there that Maryland's able to put a lot of defensive pressure on them and not allow them to get into their set offense or even get a good shot off. This is the biggest North Carolina lead, four points, and Len Bias has not touched the ball in a while. Gatlin in the lane, jumper in and out again. Hale with a rebound. Maryland has missed three tough shots in a row. Oh, Martin was open under the hoop, and Kenny Smith almost lobbed it to him. Smart play, didn't have anything easy at that end. Now they have 30 seconds left on the 20, on the 45-second clock with a minute 45 to play. And they're going to spread it out. This is all they need to do is work some time off the clock. Maryland has got to score on two possessions just to tie it. And Warren Martin walked. deny the ball back to anyone to try and create a five-second turnover or put the ball in. Bias over a wall. Boy, he wanted that shot, and Gatlin got him the ball. 69-67, 20 for Lenny Bias. Carolina again working time off the clock. There's 1.15 to go in the game, 35 on the shot clock. Okay, okay, now watch what they're doing. Nope. Made a little adjustment. Now they'll try and get their people. Now they'll try and deny the ball, not allowing it to get back to one of the smaller players on Carolina, keeping it in one of the big man's hands. Carolina does a good job. About 15 seconds on the 45-second clock. This is a big possession. This could be Maryland could uh, work it down for the last shot. Six seconds on the shot clock. Ball tipped inside, picked up by Bias. Here comes Gatlin. Gatlin is going to hold up. 39 seconds to go. The shot clock is off. Maryland needs to tie with a bucket here. Gatlin hacked at by Wolf. Bias has the ball. Long jumper. Won't go. Long with a rebound. Long in a lane, and he stripped. Oh, no whistle. Oh, Terry Long really upset as he went up and had the ball knocked out of his hands, and I think the foul is going to be on Terry Long. Now here's Bias going up for the good jump shot. Steve Hale coming over and contesting the shot, making it tough off the back iron. Is Long with the rebound. Kenny Smith reaches in and gets a piece of the ball. And they will call Long for the foul with 21 seconds left. And it will send Brad Doherty to the free throw. Right now, Carolina, an excellent foul shooting team. Uh, Jeff Lebo might be the course that the foul shoot is out there at this point for, for Carolina. And isn't that unbelievable? He makes yeah. everything else. 68%. They get it into Kenny Smith. 18 seconds to go. And Kenny Smith will go for the bucket and get the jam. That's four-point lead for North Carolina, and I think they've wrapped this one up. Baxter will go all the way in, missed the shot, and Hale is going to be called out of bounds at the baseline with four seconds to go. 
I think Maryland has probably lost more close games to North Carolina than any other team in the conference, and it's got to be so frustrating for these fans, especially tonight. They have played so brilliantly. Coach Trezell has got to find a way to build confidence in this ball club again. Lewis has it blocked. Back go, let it go. Shot. Jeff Baxter short with a jumper, but that's it. 71 to 67. And North Carolina, number one in the nation, 17 and 0 now. Willie Cunningham, they dodged a bullet tonight because Maryland almost played them off their feet. If I had one word I to answer this game is depth. The depth of Carolina wore them down at the end. Uh, we saw the